With Website.com, you can quickly and easily create your very own website with no coding experience. In this video, I'll show you how step-by-step -step, to create your own website for your own business with Website.com. Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create a website for a life coach using our Website.com web builder. What's great about our life coach templates is that they come preloaded with information and text, which you can easily use for your own site. So we'll start here from coaching.website.com, and here you can take a look at some of the features that make creating a life coach website a breeze. To get started, we'll click on create your website today. And from this page, we'll choose our theme. You'll notice here that we have a selection of themes designed for life coaching websites, and you're sure to find something here that you like. So let's go with this one, empowerment. Once you've chosen a theme, you can click the button that says sign up and make your site like this, found in the top right corner. Now you'll be taken to a page where you can register your domain name. We'll go with Just In Case Life Coaching. And you can see that it is available, so we'll go ahead and click Next. And on this page, you'll be required to select your plan, as well as fill out your login and payment information. So I'll just do that now. Once this information is filled out, you can go ahead and click Create My Account Now. And on this page, you'll see two links. One to view your website now, and one to build your website now. We're gonna click build your website now. So we're now here on the web builder and we can begin customizing our website. So first of all, we have a quick tour to help you get started and I'll just quickly take you through that. So the first thing is step one and it's choose a color scheme to fit your website by clicking on design and then choosing color schemes. The color schemes make up the different colors of your website. The step two is you, you can edit various elements of your page simply by clicking on them. Step three is how to navigate between the pages. Step four are your undo and redo buttons. Step five is the publish button where you can publish your pages once you're done editing them. And finally, we have our help section over here where you can view this tutorial again and see our YouTube channel as well as the getting started tutorials. So you'll notice here that we have some placeholder text and we're gonna be adding our own to some of the pages as well. We'll also need to change the name to the name that we chose, which is just in case life coaching. So I can do that by changing this up here. I can click on it and choose edit text. And I'll type just in case. Then I can select it all. And how about we go with page title. Excellent, and let's drag it up there. And you'll notice that we have our text editor right here. And with this text editor, you can make a bunch of different edits to your text, such as font styles, bolding, size, colors, you name it. You'll also note that when we click on this, it's surrounded by an orange border. And it also has a globe in the top left corner. This globe means that it's global, meaning that it'll be found in the same location across all of the pages. I also want to do a quick walkthrough of how to add elements to your page. You can add elements simply by going to the sidebar over here and clicking add. And then you can choose which category of element you want to add and click on it. So say I wanted to add a video link, I could click this. If I wanted to add text, I could click one of these. And like I said before, if we go to the design section, we can choose different color schemes for our website. And you'll notice that these colors change all the colors of your website. And these are chosen by our website.com web designers, so they're guaranteed to look good. We'll go back to the template default. So what we'll do now is change this image here. To do that, we can click on the image and in this little menu, we can click on change style. And in the panel box, we can click on change image. And I'm gonna be selecting an image from our vast selection of stock images. So I'll quickly find one now. And how about we go with this one? That looks good. Finally, for the home page, we'll be replacing this block of text here with our own content. I'll simply be copying and pasting in my own content that I have on an external source. So to do that, I can click on this and go to edit text. I can highlight this 
and then I'll simply copy text from my external source and paste it in. I can also make a few different changes to the text, such as giving it a font style. There. The last thing I'll do on this home page is turn on parallax scrolling. So to do that, I can choose the strip that I have in the background, click change style, and in the panel box, I'll choose add parallax effect. A parallax effect gives the illusion that the background is moving slower than the foreground. So it, you'll see if I scroll down, it looks like the background is moving slower and gives kind of this neat illusion to the page. So now we'll move on to the services page. To change pages, go to the top left and I'll choose the services page. Firstly, we'll be changing this image here by uploading our own image. So I can click on that and go to change image. And instead of going to our stock images, I'll click on drop files here or click to upload. And I'm going to be selecting couple on a cruise ship. I'll use this image. There, that looks good. Now like the home page, we'll be copying and pasting in our own text content. So I'll do that like I did with the home page. Excellent. It's also easy to add a video link to your website. So, like I said before, just go to the Add section of the sidebar, click on Audio and Video, and we'll choose Video Link. And you'll notice that it appears right here on my cursor, so I'll just drag this down right here. And to change which video is displayed, we can click on it and choose Change Video. And in the panel box, we'll input our own link to a YouTube, Vimeo, or Daily Motion video. So I have one of those on my external source as well. And there we go. We can also add an RSS feed using our HTML widget tool found in the sidebar. So like the video, we'll go to add and we'll choose custom HTML. And how about I put this right here? Now to edit which HTML code is displayed, we can click edit HTML code and we'll paste in HTML code that we get from an external source right here. So for me, I'll go to my other page and I'm gonna be inputting a psychology RSS feed. So, I'll go to that page and just show you what it would look like. This is what it would look like on the page, and I'll copy the script. Go back to the editor, and I'll paste in the HTML code. And that's it. The HTML widget won't show up on the editor or in preview mode for security reasons, but when you do publish your page, it will work. The next thing we can do is create a blog page. So to add a page, we can go to the Pages section of the sidebar and choose Add Page. In this category section here, we'll choose Blog. And we'll also call our page Blog. A blog is great for getting connected with your potential and existing customers. And with Website.com, we offer a powerful blog app that is already built in, so you don't need to install a third-party blog. Our blog URLs are also SEO-friendly. They contain the title of the post. So the title can give both your readers and search engines a good idea of what the article is about. Also, social networking settings for blogs is great for getting exposure. So we're now on the blog page and we'll be adding a new blog entry. So to do that, click on the button that says new blog entry. And I'll add this. I'll just call this welcome. And I have content that I'm going to be pasting in from my external source. Once you're satisfied, press save. The next thing we'll do is go to the Contact Us page. You can see here that we have a Google Map and a web form. So firstly, we'll go to the Google Maps app and we can change which location is displayed. So I'll go to Settings and in the panel box, I'll input an address. And there you can see it now displays this address. We'll also be adding a CAPTCHA to this form right here. So to do that, click on the form and go to Form Settings in this menu. Then we can go to the Security tab and choose Yes, Protect Form with CAPTCHA. And that's our Contact Us page. The last thing I'll do is show you how to convert one of your pages for mobile use using our mobile editor. So I'll go back to the Services page. And to switch to the mobile editor, we can go up here to the top left and click this button that looks like a mobile phone. 
And you can see here that we have elements that we need to place so that they fit well on a mobile phone. So you'll notice that we have some overlapping here. The first thing I'll do is drag this video down so that it's not overlapping any of the text. I'll also scale it down so that it fits on the mobile screen. Now I need to add more room underneath the video so I can put my custom HTML widget. So to do that, go to this content section right here and drag it down to add more space to your content section of your page. And I can just click and drag and bring the custom HTML widget down. And you can see everything fits perfectly on the mobile phone. So when your visitors visit your website on their mobile phones, there won't be any overlapping and it will all look great. And that's it. I've shown you how easy it is to take one of our pre-existing life coaching templates and make it your own by pasting in your own content and changing the images around. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us or check out our YouTube tutorials for more step-by-step -step videos. Thanks for watching.